So today it's an important day that we have, we are launching our second generation iBook and uh, we have been in research, doing the production the research for the last eight years and what I call one of our big babies are the iBook that came on several generations and we are happy to launch the second generation iBook today. I want to actually say what is a second generation iBook in sort of two sentences. It's an advanced information kiosk designed to improve information integration between office and site, as well as on-site communication between different project participants and the uh, construction workers, as well as it's a large-scale, multi-touch, high-definition display, and latest advancements in distributed data warehousing and security technologies. Now invite our big supporter, I call it uh, our president of the Calgary Construction Association, Dave Smith, to say a few words. Thanks, Janica. I'm not sure how I got this job. Uh, Madam Chair, <laughs> you should be up here. <laughs> She's waiting you know it. But the uh, Calgary Construction Association was formed in 1944, and we have 870 companies that support the construction community here in Calgary in the institutional, commercial, and industrial sector. And as Janik had mentioned, back in 2003, he knocked on my door, and this young, handsome guy walked into my office and indicated that he wanted to do some research. And I said, oh, so you're from the university. This is dangerous. So I said, Janik, I'll tell you what, if you do some real research on real issues, I'm sure the construction industry will buy into the program. And uh, he promised me that's exactly what he'd do. So I introduced Janika to the uh, Board of Directors, uh, which is made up of uh, various industry affiliated associations uh, in the trades and professions, uh, architects, engineers, and what have you, and the Allied Professional Services, and uh, they uh, took to the program. And it was kind of first because it's interesting to know, uh, since uh, I've been with the board, in driving over here, uh, talking to uh, the former president of Southern Interior Construction Association, we are talking about this research project. And because it's somewhat like a ghost or a mirage, it's very tough for the average individual to grasp. Uh, it's unique in the sense that I says, I think we're one of the most unique uh, organizations in, the, in Canada. And uh, Debbie Hicks, uh, as I said, the former president before, said, no, likely in North America. We will meet with our colleagues twice a year, and I must say that I don't think there's anything like it that I can see in building exchanges in North, in North America or construction associations in Canada, as we call it, that have done the research work that uh, Janik has done. So I'm very uh, proud to say that uh, one thing about the entrepreneurship in Calgary, it's alive and well uh, with the stakeholders. So I see Steve here from Revy and uh, Bruce uh, from ECL and a few other contractors from Canada that have uh, bought into the program. and. Uh, uh, the 10 top ways to enhance productivity, I was very impressed uh, with the productivity. Uh, we need to move forward because as you can see by this uh, second generation iBoot, it is uh, something uh, very physical. I can put your hands on a touch and see how we can enhance productivity in the construction industry. So I'd like to give a round of applause to uh, Janika and his researchers for such a <laughs> Vice President of Research, Dr. Ed McCauley, and uh, Ed was uh, you know, a great researcher, former CRC, uh, but uh, now in our big, big, big boss's job in research. Thank you, Ed, for coming. Thank you, and I'd like to welcome everybody here, especially the uh, partnership industry. Um, as Janica mentioned, the university last year established a very, very bold strategy called Eyes High, where by 2016, by the time of our 50th anniversary, we want to be in the top five research intensive universities in the country. And that's a big challenge because we're competing with places like McGill, University of Toronto, who are three times our age. So in 45 or 46 short years, we're already number seven in the country, right? And that's in terms of the, the top ranked universities, in terms of research income. Research income, though, is just a you know, simple metric. And we can say, yes, in order to be in the top five, we have to be, we have to bring in around $450 million annually every year into the city in terms of research. But that is sort of a very, very simple sort of statement. What's really, really important in our strategy is that 
those funds that we bring in have to re provide a return to the community. And this research project is exactly about the type of research <coughs> that we want to champion. I'm a huge fan of Jamika's research. I was in India with him when we were launching a new project management uh, group, and I saw how important and impactful the work that Jamika is doing can change in terms of the mindset of how construction is actually taking place. So I'm a huge fan of, a huge fan of that. I also think that the type of research that Janik is doing in, in tight collaboration and partnership right from the ground up, rather than simply adding partners later on in the research project, but identifying a common goal and working together to solve it is a really, really great way of ensuring that the creative ideas that come out of this team mesh beautifully with the pull from society in order to advance um, technology and technology transfer. What more can we give to the community than improving safety, improving our business efficiencies, improving, improving completion time, improving the satisfaction that your customers get when you develop and, and produce these huge projects. So I really applaud Janneke and his research. I'm looking forward to um, the next generation so that I can wear around in the country and get it on my smartphone to find out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing that day. Anyway, congratulations Janneke and thank you to the partners. We really appreciate your support of the team. Thank you. Support and then I'd like to ask uh, our Dean, uh, DJ Brown, for our coming and few remarks. So easy to be the third one to speak, so I'll just be, say the same thing that Dad said, but with a different accent. So that's the time to do it. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Janneke. This is so great to celebrate this work tonight. But what struck me when you presented your team is really the multidisciplinary aspect of your team. And this, for sure, adds complexity to your project. And it fits so well with ICE High, where multidisciplinary and interdisciplinarity is certainly a key word. So, congratulations for this. And, you know, being the Dean of Engineering in Calgary is great. It's a, it's a great, great experience. I've been here since last summer. It's a great place to be a Dean of Engineering. But there's a challenge that I realize now that I face quite a bit is, is the fact that I think we can be more than a very good engineering school. And everywhere I go, people say, oh, we like your undergraduate. They are so good. Once they graduate, we hire them. We want more of them. But I think we can be a bit more of this. And tonight is exactly an, an, is an example of what we can also be, a great place to do research. And uh, Jenica is a great champion of that research that we do here at the Shooting School of Engineering, that we do more and more. And, and what I hear all, quite often too is the fact that our research is too academic. Well, tonight we have a great example of applied research, and for this research, this kind of research to, to happen, we need champions like Jenica, but we also need the support of the industry, we need the support of the of the end users of our research and I see many of you around this room and I'm really glad to see you because I think the more you're going to get involved, the earlier you're going to be involved, the more uh, you're going to be able to use the products of our research. So it's great to see so many of you here tonight. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Jennifer. And uh, I'll just stage I'd like to ask uh, Lahiru um, and Kamal to do the demonstration of the uh, um, the iBoot. So we have, he was wondering, like, what are these two? Let me give a um, final remarks about that. So we have a mobile unit that we can actually sort of moving into various places. And then also we have what we call a wall mount iBoot. In a, in a building project, a large building project, if we want to sort of, we can actually have it at different locations. So it map the whole system so that way you, you don't need to take the mobile one. So that's the way, so that's why the next generation which are working right now, is getting into the handheld and, and as I mentioned about the iPhones and all the other uh, uh, handheld devices. So thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate your, your presence here. And um, so let's uh, see whether Lahiru and uh, Kamal can do the demo. So. The mobile unit, yeah. 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 where you can take to anywhere in the job site. And the other one is the wall mount unit. You can uh, mount it in any wall or column in the job site. Or you can uh, replace the drawing office, all those uh, 2D drawings in the drawing racks. Instead of having all these drawing racks, 
you can have one or two of these units mounted in your drawing office in different sizes and the four months future they will have something like this with them uh, they can carry the exact same system in the handheld without with some limitations because of the capacity of these units are not as much as these ones so here the main information categories we have is uh, design drawing shop drawing safety schedules quality specifications BIM technical information certifications work packages weather and the virtual supervision for example let's say uh, let's go to architectural so we can handle I mean any number of drawings so let me open the last one this is a DWF file I really like to keep uh, these DWF files in the field rather than uh, the, these dumb PDF files where you can't do much with the file so with these DWF files uh, you can uh, get all the information like uh, if there's any dimension missing you can uh, check the length of this uh, in the field itself uh,